So what the flare time series oracle is doing is, at least in the first instance, it's solving for price. But in reality, it can solve for any probabilistic data set, which has a time series. And so what you do with your Songbird tokens currently and what you will be doing with your Flare tokens in the future is you'll be delegating them to price providers. As I said, since we launched Songbird, we have close to 100 of them. You delegate your tokens and the price providers on your behalf put prices into the system. And those prices are aggregated in the FTSO smart contract. This forms a distribution. The smart contract cuts the tails of the distribution off. So it removes the top 25% and the lower 25% of prices, leaving it with the 50% in the middle. It then takes the, the weighted median, weighted by your delegation, and that weighted median gives us the price. It sounds simple, but there's a lot of game theory in it. But so far, it's been extremely useful and extremely robust. The system currently handles about 100 data providers and I think about 15 or 16 different price series. We're looking at ways to upgrade that so that it can handle thousands of price providers and thousands of price series. And that's some of the work we're doing with Max Walter 